In this video, we're looking at stem cells, more specifically stem cell niches. We're going to look at what stem cell niches are, how they function, and then at the end we're going to take a look at an example. Let's begin. Stem cell niches are microenvironments that provide a supportive function for stem cells, creating an environment where they can live. Now let's take a look at how this works in a little bit more detail. Here we see a stem cell niche or a microenvironment. And in this niche we see these supporting cells in green. These supporting cells sense out signaling molecules that the stem cells respond to. Now to keep these stem cells in this microenvironment, the supporting cells express attachment molecules that prevents the stem cells from floating away. One of the signaling molecules that is these supporting stem cells sends out is called WINT, and it is especially important in the human body. So let's take a quick look at how it works. The WINT pathway is a complex pathway, but it basically works by the WINT protein binding to a receptor, causing a cascade of proteins to interact with each other within the cell, causing a change of the gene expression, and in return, making the stem cell divide or renew itself. However, there is one exception to this. Within the skin tissue, these wind signaling molecules cause the basal cells to differentiate instead of dividing. But back to our original example, where our stem cell has just divided, some of the stem cells within the stem cell niche are exposed to differentiating factors, causing them to transform into more mature cells that can leave the niche and start doing its work that it was intended to do. Now lastly, let's take a look at a quick practical example of how the stem cell niche within the hippocampus works. Within the hippocampal stem cell niche, we of course have these supporting cells that keep the stem cell in place and also express signaling molecules like WINT that causes the stem cell to divide. And this makes sure that there is always a pool of stem cells that we never run out of. Because when some of these stem cells are exposed to differentiating factors, they transform into mature neurons. And if we hadn't renewed our stem cell storage, this process would end pretty quickly. Now, that covers everything in this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe.